to put this camera lens down. Let me make sure this is on going. Yes. I put the camera lens down for y'all listening because I thought that, you know, but anyway, I ain't no videographer, but uh, sorry about that. So I put my camera lens down. Hopefully this is a better view. Um, I didn't have a time to get my hair done or nothing, but um, I'm here. Okay. This is episode six, I believe, of Married to Madison. Check out my t-shirt, Too Much Sauce for You. Hey, shout out to Too Much Sauce. Um, people have been sending me their t-shirts. I said I would wear them in my vlog. So here you go, sir. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching the show and being fans of the show. And uh, I just give my honest opinion. So I'm going to just go on and start. Okay. They start at the show showing people's lives or whatever, whatever. And they show me get picked up by the stripper or whatever. The man was naked. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way that Scott said in a seductive way because he wasn't there. But anyway, I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I do not lie to anybody but my damn man. Okay, listen. Hold up. Listen, let me tell you. Sometimes you have to really just tell a little white lie to just get over in marriage. I'm sorry. I've been married 22 years. I've been with the same man 25 years. Y'all can't tell me how to do this, okay? Telling the truth all the time, the explicit, raw truth ain't gonna get you nowhere. But I don't like how they cut it up and made it seem like, because I did tell the boy to get away from me at the point when he picked, before he picked me up. But then they gonna cut to a time. Let me see. I don't even remember that happening, but okay. Anyway, so the strip club was, I mean, the stripper paint and sip or whatever was, uh, it was cute, okay? And, you know, daddy, I told a little white lie, but that's okay, because I love my man, okay? And, 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 you know, that's all right. Okay, so now me and Jackie went to the sex store or whatever. We talked about that, and uh, we're going to Savannah. But y'all knew Savannah was going to be a hot mess. That's what y'all was expecting. Go ahead, whatever, whatever. Um, Contessa. I'm going to jump in Contessa. I ain't got much time to listen. So Contessa done quit her damn program, but now she resentful to her husband about everything he does, where he goes. He gets to go places, but I don't. I get what she's saying because I love Contessa and maybe I'm biased, but um, if you was going to be resentful, Contessa, you shouldn't have never quit your, your program. I mean, like I said, we should have found a way to make it work, bring the kids with you. Do something. I mean, shit, put them in school in New York, in, I started to say New York, in Nashville. And finish your program. I feel for Contessa because I know how she feels. She wants to do things. I'm going to tell you, my mama, my mama actually went to school after we were born. She had me late in life. She had me at 38, around 39 or 40. She went back to school to become a nurse because we grew up poor. I'm going to just tell you the truth. We grew up poor and my mama wanted something better for our lives. So she made a sacrifice even though we were really, really little, that she went back to school. Now, was she away from us a lot? But, but, but the reason she went back was because they had a program um, for for uh, people with small children. They would do the daycare and they would pay for you to go to nursing school. So my mom did program because it was an opportunity of a lifetime. Contessa had an opportunity of a lifetime where she could go to Meharry, study. Yeah, she got accepted at Emory. Contessa is really smart. I'm telling you, this this woman is ingenious. And I'm not just saying that. I'm saying she's really, really smart. Um, It was an opportunity of a lifetime. Go for it, girl, but make it work for you. My, I wouldn't have put nothing on the man, even though that's his kids. I get it. But the men don't do... I, from my experience, the men don't take care of the kids the way that we can. And I wouldn't even expect that. But y'all do what y'all do. Yes, they his kids. He should be able to take care of his kids. But to keep the problems down, because y'all want to be happy. Do you want to be right? Or you, do you want to be happy and stay together, Contessa? What you want to do? The man is a man, man. He ain't the type to be. Every man is different anyway. I think y'all get the point. Okay. So we get our ignorant tales in Savannah. And you know what? I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Listen, I don't like how they cutting this stuff up. I really don't. Because I see why people say I'm mean. If, if it played out the way that it did, for real, then I look mean as hell. I did not jump in these conversations. These people put me in the conversation. I was real quiet. I was real quiet, okay? And we're going to have to give Jackie kudos for her lemon squeeze slash. I mean, do you just give up? Or do you keep trying to try, oh, do it over, reset, do it up? We ain't going to never be perfect because it's too many strong-minded women. And, um... We just got our strong opinions. Mine is more old-fashioned, and it works for me. Other people's might be more progressive, like Toya. That worked for her. Let her do her, let me do me, but I'm going to give you my opinion of what I think is best. 
but it's best for me and not nobody else. So anyway, Jackie, kudos for yo, yo, um, little events you've been doing for us and we appreciate it we really do i think that means simone in a better place i think she's feeling some kind of way still but you know we're gonna get past it whatever we're gonna be all right okay so i'm gonna say soon as we damn it get to the derm candlelight ceremony which was beautiful i think we made progress once again great thing quad only took one card because jackie would only give her one so she was able to accept is it me or feel like maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, y'all. Y'all go in these comments and tell me wrong. Certain people in this group never acknowledge what they have done wrong. I feel like I do. I feel like, you know what? Everybody think they right, okay? If you're going to say I said something confidence and I didn't, I would tell you you a lie. I feel like maybe everybody think, but I can be woman enough to say I was wrong for some of the stuff I said. I've done wrong. I've been wrong, wrong, wrong so many times. I have been. But I ain't by myself. We've all been wrong. So let's go on and list the wrong that people have been, okay? I'm going to start from the top to the bottom, okay? I'm going to just, you know, now nah, I ain't putting no classes or whatever, but the top. I'm going to start with Jackie. Jackie, you know your ass been wrong a lot of times with your shady ass. You know you been wrong, Jackie. The way that you talk over these people's heads and they don't catch your shady, you know what the hell you be doing. Jackie, just own it. When you apologize to people, you apologize because you feel like, I ain't going to be arguing back and forth with your ass. So I'm going to just keep shading you and I'm going to apologize every time just like I do. Okay? I apologize. You apologize, but y'all going to do the same shit over. So Jackie, you, you in it too, okay? Okay, then I'm going to go from Jackie to Simone. Simone, I'm going to leave you alone because we're not in a good place. I'm trying to get better with you. So I'm going to leave you alone, Simone, but you know your ass be making shit up. But anyway, okay, Contessa. Contessa is a very nice girl, okay? I like Contessa a lot. She going through some stuff, so she's trying to, you know, handle that, and that's fine. You know, she got one of the best storylines out of all of us in the show that it's, it's really controversial. Should you go back to school? Should you stay with the kids? The babies need their mamas, but my mama did it for me. And, I mean, she went back to school while we were little. I don't even freaking remember. I don't remember her. I know that she was a great sacrifice and she wasn't there all the time because she was in school. But I don't even remember. So, did it hurt me? I don't think so. I think I am aggressive. I'm, I'm driven. I'm all that because I saw my mama do it. So, that's what that is. Okay, so everybody been wrong. Contessa, I can't see what she been real wrong. I mean, yes, she did say to me, but then Toya called her husband a bitch first. But anyway, I ain't talking about that. Okay, so now I said, I said Jackie. I'm going to write this down because, you know, I have to get somebody. I said Simone. I said Contessa. Quad, Miss Quad. Okay, Miss Quad, I'm going to have to lay into you a little bit, girl. Okay, now y'all, I'm going to say this. I am biased because I really like Quad. I really do. And I think she has been through a lot in her life, which we all have. But I'm sitting up here watching them on the reunion and what Quad has been through. And yeah, I think she played a part in it. But pe for people to say that Quad is a liar and that man didn't do nothing to her, when he said he did, I, I think that people see what they want to see based on what they want and not what actually happened. I think that's a part of the psyche. And I think that this show plays on it because they'll show you one part and another part and they'll cut it out and they'll show your voice, but not really what you said. But Quaz, you have done some wrong to people as far as, we know you don't like Mariah, but and rightfully so, but you gotta come to a point where we're not going. And I'm gonna say, I'm trying to be honest, Quaz didn't bring this shit up. She did not. She has not perpetuated none of this. She has been very silent about it. She did bring it up at the reunion. So let's be mad at her for that. But this season, she has not brought it up. It's been brought up by everybody else. Now, do you want her to lie? Because a lot of times, I think y'all want people to recant shit and, and, and just lie. But she's not willing to do that. So when Toya brought it up, Toya knew she wasn't going to take that back. The girl say she saw with her eyes. Okay. Anyway, I'm saying we all been wrong. I'm going to say quad, okay? Okay? Buffy, I ain't going to talk about you too much, girl. But come on now. To me, anybody that keeps saying they rich, they well off, they family, nah, nah, nah. They remind me of that Lisa Nicole bullshit. I, I just, I don't know what you got and what you ain't got. But, um, 
You crying because you say your friend. Come on, girl. Are your friends educated? Because we all pretty well off. But my whole thing is this. We all have to be humble. We really, really do. And that's why I work so hard, y'all. I've been working for 20, over 20 years. Y'all know I've been working hard. I done bought practices, sold them. Two of them didn't work. I can talk about my failures. Two of them didn't work. I couldn't get them up. I lost money on it. Um, I tried a, a dating app. That shit didn't work. I lost money on that. We tried a record label. Lost hundreds of thousands on that. And we and I didn't like it from the beginning. But, you know, I was supporting my man, okay? I ain't getting all of that. But this money thing, you got to be real humble. And I've learned that the hard way. You can have money today and it be gone tomorrow. So that humbleness, you got to have it. And I hate the way they cut it up because I am proud of Toya in her house. She just downgraded my house. Bitch, you just got accepted with a house for a, house, for a loan for a house at that point. You ain't even got a house and you already found And it's played like, but you know what? What I see... And what y'all see on TV may be a bit different because they cut it up so bad. It looks like I was down on her for getting a house. No, I'm happy you got a house, Toya. Toya, I bought, I bought 13 houses. Bought and sold houses, commercial real estate, all of that, girl. I, I have no reason to down you for excelling yourself. You worked hard for that, okay? But you ain't gonna downplay what I've done, girl. $50,000, we, we, I call you slow, I call you dumb, but Toy, you not dumb, you not. You just look that way because these damn women in this group are brilliant. They just are. I mean, look at Jackie, look at Contessa. It makes you look slow when you say shit like that. Toy, come on now. And I ain't downgrading your house, your house is beautiful. It is. I mean, you got 9,000 square feet. You got a brand new everything. It was built from the ground up. I wouldn't build no house from the ground up because it's too stressful, but you ain't got shit to do all day. So maybe it wasn't stressful for you. I, I would like to have a house. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't tear it down like Jackie did and have a house and tear it down because that's stressful too. Um, But I love my house. I hope you love yours. Mine is almost paid for. I'm just going to tell you. I could write a check and pay it off. But I'm humble because I know this shit could end. I, I've been in places where I've lost a lot of money and I've been in a bad place. I've been in places where I got a lot of money, you know, whatever. So I didn't have generational wealth. I didn't. And if Buffy did, that's great for you, Buffy. I didn't have that. So I work like I'm broke. I do. I work hard like I ain't got shit because I, but now I will buy some nice stuff. I feel like I work hard. I should deserve to have nice stuff. Like to me, I'm trying not to talk about Buffy, but Buffy, girl. I, I, it's something about that bitch that ain't seem right to me. It seems like that she gonna get crying to me. She ain't had no friends because they at the bottom and she at the top. And, and she got so much money and they ask her for money and this, that, and the other. Now, I do have friends that, you know, I grew up with that are not in a great place like me. But, uh-uh. I'm trying not to sound fast. Great. I'm trying not to sound classist, but sometimes you can't do shit with a certain friend. The friend that you grew up in the hood with, you know what I'm saying, Shanika them, you can't say let's go on vacation because they can't do the shit you do. And when you start doing that kind of shit, it becomes resentful. So there are certain friends for certain things. If you want to just crack up and laugh, and you know, I get it. People think you got money, so they always come to your house to drink, you know, and they're like, you know, you at a restaurant, everybody look at your ass to pay when you, that's why I don't do too many people. I love my man, girl, and my daughter, I buy her whatever, but as far as like friends, you know, I, I got good friends, but a whole lot of friends you don't need them. Toya, them friends, the girl, all them girls you got are fans, they not even friends, but anyway, I'm just gonna say, Buffy, baby, baby, you need to humble yourself just a little bit, baby, maybe that's why you ain't got no friends, cause... We all doing well, but I don't know what you got. But anyway, okay. So we talked about what people do wrong. I talked about Clark, okay? Toya. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like Toya. I really do. I hate that we are not on the same team anymore. I feel like, and y'all tell me what y'all think at the bottom. I feel like Toya has decided to be on Mariah's side no matter what. Got her back no matter what. Because Mariah is a master manipulator, she made this little girl feel sorry for her. Everybody mind pretty much in this group to me is stronger than that. Like, bitch, we know what this bitch is and we ain't overlooking it. But Toya cool with me. I hate 
that we got into an argument about this shit. I don't like the way they cut it because I did not jump in that argument. They brought me in it. I eat, I think Quad brought me in that argument talking about what Mariah had said about my husband and Mariah continued. And I said, bitch, you know what? Your man is cheated. You know, and the thing about it is, I started to say two, but my man had cheated. And some of y'all saying I said allegedly that uh, Mariah, husband, it ain't allegedly, it came out of her mouth. Her husband is a cheater. So rather than talk about somebody who hasn't Damon ain't did shit to nobody. I'm saying he ain't been in the closet talking about he got the receipts. He ain't tweeting no damn body. He ain't in this shit. He's above this shit because he got what? A real fucking job. He got Damon is the most successful man on the show. I'm sorry. He just is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not to put it out there. So he ain't worried about this shit. He actually thinks this shit is beneath. Me. Well, I ain't gonna say that. But Damon got other shit going on where he could care less. That's why I don't like y'all tagging his ass and shit because he never gonna see this video. I honestly didn't think he was gonna see that stripper thing. I did not. This stuff they go on the show, Damon don't watch it. He ain't watching this show. He's not on Twitter. He's not on Facebook. People don't even really talk to him about this show in his office. And when he do, he gotta go away from it because he really, you know, don't feel like that's whatever. But what I'm saying to you, I wasn't expecting the man to tell him. I promise you I could have got away with it, girl. I done got away with so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never cheated or nothing, but we don't got to. Anyway, I done went off on a tangent. But Damon ain't did shit to nobody, okay? And while I was on Toya, Toya, I said your mama. You know your mama beautiful. You know your mama beautiful. I ain't going to say nothing about nobody else's mama because Lucy, her ancient ass ain't no. But Toya, your mama is beautiful. She's a great woman. I met her. And, I mean, you got good genes. So, I apologize for saying that. I really do. I don't think Toya's a bad person. I think she's gullible. I think she's materialistic. I think she's... I'm trying to think of a good word to say. If you think your house worth more than man, bitch, and my shit almost paid up. And I'm trying to be humble. But, bitch, I done own 12 house. Girl, I still... I done had how many practices? I still... I work every day like I'm broke. Daddy working. We ain't in this household. We got one income. We not. I'm sorry, but I'm humble because I know anything can happen. I really do. But, bitch, you really can't compare. Come on now, Toya. Please don't ever compare your shit to mine. Or compare your in. Don't do none of that, Toya, because it makes you look dumb, okay? Okay, $50,000, girl. I just gave $50,000 to the... But anyway, pray for Toya. Honestly, I like Toya. I like her slut. But the bitch brought up the stuff, okay? Toya know what she be doing. She ain't that dumb. She not dumb. She knew after the candlelight ceremony, we all in a good place. We in our white usher board damn outfits. We in our usher board outfits. We in a good place. I think Simone and I made some headway. Everybody had some headway. Quad ain't finna own shit. Mariah ain't finna go on shit. I think that that's one of the things they have in common. And I'm just being honest. You knew when you sat your ass there and asked Quad about the darn drugs. And I've been trying not to talk about this. I have, Lord, because, Lord, I, do, I know what kind of messy bitch Mariah is. And Mariah will make up some shit on anybody. She's done it. When you ask Quad about these damn drug allegations, what did you expect to ha happen? Just like when y'all go up to Jocelyn Hernandez and say, this is my wife. What did you expect to happen? Y'all knew the bitch was going to go off. You know who she is. Just like if you tweet me and you say negative things, what did you expect to happen? Quad is not going to get off of that. She says true. Her receipts are her ass. She says true. Now, let me be very clear here. Very clear. Very clear. I ain't seen nobody do no drugs. <clears throat> I ain't seen nobody do no drugs. I ain't never seen Mariah do no drugs. I have not. But y'all ignorant asses aren't going to sit here and tell me that she pulled the fucking hair plug out of her head and it went back five years. You're not going to do that to me. Y'all must think these people that's watching this show is stupid. Y'all must think we dumb as hell, okay? Google the shit. How far, that's what, how far do a drug test go back? Urine go back for a couple of days, okay? Hair plugs from your hair go 90 days, y'all. Google it. Don't listen to me. I'm just a dumb ass dentist. I'm just dumb and ignorant, okay? I don't know shit. Okay, I'm the smartest person in it that I know. 90 days for a hair plug. You can do body hair that will go up to one year, not five, not ten. Toya, again, I'm not gonna call you dumb, but don't put no facts out there without fact checking. No, you, you lazy, okay? Because all you had to do is Google that shit. I mean, 
for you. Please don't do that. And then, Mariah, why you get on TV and take a drug? They finna eat your ass up. Anybody that got any fucking kind of knowledge can go, go. Come on, now. The hair plugs go back. And it ain't even definite at a year. It depends on the rate of your hair growth. Y'all not going to put this shit out there. Y'all finna get ate up. Leave it alone. Honestly, I don't care, Mariah, if you did drugs. Am I? I don't. I don't. But what I do know, and I hope this ain't too dark because I'm trying to be funny, but this shit ain't funny because it's too serious. Mariah, we know you a liar. That's one thing we know for sure. Let's talk about some of the lies that you've told. And I ain't making this all about Mariah, but shit, we talk about her ignorant ass because she done got on here and start crying like we supposed to feel sorry for you. Do I feel sorry? I don't. Am I humble? I'm tr I am. All right. You started at this shit lying on Toya. That's why I like Toya because I feel like she's very forgiving. You know what I'm saying? Toya ain't never said nothing about your daughter. You know what I'm saying? You put out there that Toya said that Aiden won her father. Everybody knew that shit. That's even worse than Simone. Everybody knew that dirty little girl was not Aiden's child. And you gonna put it out there and then fight the bitch at your mama beating her ass with a purse about it. And it was a lie. Toya never did that. Ask her if she did it. She probably gonna say, let's leave the past in the past. That's what she said before. Toya's forgiven. Okay, you also lied. That wasn't a quiet lie when they said that you was driving drunk in your car with your kids in your car. Mariah said that shit. Toya was quiet, was wrong for repeating it. But if shit came from Mariah and you know it, Toya, lie. Okay, I ain't even going to get into lies that Mariah has said on Jackie and Simone because we not going there because they too dark and I don't think anybody want me to bring it up. Okay, lie, lie, lie. Let's see. Um, Mariah, you lied when you thought we didn't, they didn't have the footage because that's what they told me too, that you broke that glass. When you broke that glass and we got an island, you said, oh no, I didn't break a glass. I did it on accident like Damon did. Bitch, you a lie. They caught it on camera and they told your ignorant ass they didn't because they knew you was going to lie. You a liar. Okay? Let's talk about some more lies. What else? What else I got? Okay. Damon tried to holler at Miss Lucy. I'm trying not to go in on your mama, but you done talked about my damn man now. Because I feel like your family is family. Y'all done talked about my damn daughter. So I think your mama ain't off the plate. It's just not. Why the hell would Damon want Lucy ancient ass? Okay? She need to come in my office. We got some new implants, girl, for them dentures. And we gonna hook them up. But I'm not trying to be messy. I'm just saying I'm gonna hook you up. But anyway. Damon tried to talk to Miss Lucy, right? If you got receipts, Damon, show it to me. Talk why I her receipts her eyes. She saw it. Y'all not finna take no drug tests on TV to go back 90 days and say it was five years ago when she saw it. That's why they do random drug tests. They do it at the school for my kids. They send me a thing saying, is it okay to give a drug? Yes, take a drug test. You know why? Because a lot of people do drugs, so it's not uncommon to think that your ass ain't never did it. You know what I'm saying? I'ma just say, I know a lot of doctors. I ain't gonna put that out there like that. But I know a lot of people. Drugs ain't something that you could just... Don't nobody give a damn whether you did it or not. We really don't. We really don't. But what I'm going to tell you is this, and this is my God and it's true, and if, if I'm lying, y'all tell me, what lie has quiet told? Provable lies. I, I just don't know the bitch to be no liar. I know she leaves shit out. Now, she never told us nothing about what's going on in her marriage. And she never told me about, that she don't tell shit about herself. And quiet selfish. I'm going to get down and put it out but one thing I cannot say about Quad is that she just make up shit. She don't. Mariah, you the bitch that make up shit. So if you a lie, if you tell lies, you a liar. So when y'all ask me, listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. This is the truth that I'm telling you. I did not inject myself in that. I was trying not to be a part of it. But if you ask me a damn question, Heavenly, you think I... I'm going to leave it alone, y'all. I'm going to leave it alone. Urine tests go up a few days, and you can put stuff in your system to get it out. Hair plugs go 90 days, and it depends on the radio growth, so it's not conclusive. Body hair, you buy your body, not your head. Body hair can go up to a year. And something called a spinal tap can go further than a year, but a lot of people don't do it because it's too dangerous to do. Do your research, y'all. Y'all not going to sit up here and just lie to me, okay? I'm done with that, and I'm never addressing it again. Y'all know my opinion. I said what I said, and I ain't got shit to do with it. And I'm going to name this damn new show. I told you, sitting in my closet and ain't got shit to do with it, okay? Okay, girl, bye. And this bitch get to cry. Girl, you done lied on my damn man. He ain't did shit to nobody. The fame, his character, and my whole thing.
thing is, honestly, Mariah, I'm going to tell you, that's good reality TV to lie because they lie on people's husbands all the time. You don't know what's true or not. I'm going to tell you, I think 94 to 98% of men cheat. They do. But as a biology major, I know that there's an exception to every rule. And some men probably ain't going to get caught because they smart enough. Your man just was dumb enough to get caught, okay? He got caught because he was sloppy with it, okay? Butt dialing people and stuff. Don't talk about nobody, man. Worry about your own man and your receipts with him. I can't feel sorry for you, girl, because you done told too many lies. Lies that nobody knows about. Girl, I used to like you when I first met you, but shortly after, after all the shit you had done to other people, I had no respect for you. I ain't even gonna lie. From the very first season, and it ain't never came back because you continuously do the same shit. So, I ain't the one to ask. Don't ask me shit about it because I ain't got nothing to do with it. <coughs> so, I'm going to do a last rundown. No holla. And I was trying to be funny, but this shit ain't funny. And ain't no way I could bring no humor to it, okay? Strippers, I lied. I lied. Uh, the man did pick me up. I did tell the boy to get away from me. He did. Eh, 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 but I did say, let me see. So, okay. Savannah ain't the place to go for no damn girls trip with all them ghosts and shit. And I hope they show us when we go in to see some ghosts. Like Jackie, I love you, baby. But baby, um, you a trip. Okay, Simone, I'm gonna leave your ass alone. I don't feel like we're in a good place. And you know, I actually do care about Simone and her feelings, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Quad, baby, you know I love you, girl. You didn't bring it up and you didn't perpetuate it. So I feel like, honestly, I'm saying maybe I'm biased, but I don't see Quad did nothing wrong. Y'all brought that shit to her. She was letting it go. Why didn't Toya let it go? I don't know. But okay, Contessa. Girl, get it right with your man. Uh, do you want to be right? Do you want to be happy? Sometimes you got to tell the white lies. Do what you got to do to get where you want to be. I'm just saying that's the rules of marriage, okay? And it might not sound right, but the shit work, okay? Buffy, bitch, let's humble ourselves, okay? A little bit, girl. You ain't got no friends because your ass keeps saying you're rich. You keep saying rich people don't say that. You the bitch keep saying you're rich. And you remind me of Lisa McCall, bitch, that it really ain't got all you say you got. Bitch, all us doing well. That's why I say we got to be humble. I don't know what you got or you don't, but it's something not right about you. And I ain't put my finger on it, but trust me and come back to this video in two years when some, if she's continued that long, but they're giving her a lot of play time. It's going to be a scandal with the bitch. And I ain't even talking about, it's something not right about this woman. Anyway, Toya, I can't be mad at you, girl. You trying to support your friend. You just got sucked in. And honestly, I don't think you believe everything Mariah say. I think you're just trying to be a supporter because that's what you feel like you need to be. But I cannot be mad at Toya. I apologize for saying your mama, you know your mama, beautiful girl. That's a bad thing. I say it's a bad habit. It's childish and I shouldn't do it, girl. But when I said your mama about Miss Lucy, I meant that shit. But anyway, Mariah, girl, bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye, bye girl. Stop all that crying shit. You gonna get all this shit and you gonna cry now? <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope this wasn't too mean. Y'all say I be mean, but shit, I don't know. I they cut that shit up and I I mean it looked like I was mean, but I wasn't trying to get in none of that. And I'ma say again, I ain't got shit to do with it, okay? Guys, if you like my videos, please like, comment, and share. Hit that blue bell. Every time you hit it, you can see my videos when they come up. And guys, share it. Share it on social media. Go and share anything I said on this, baby. I own it, girl. I know I got to deal with this shit in the video. And I know they're going to bring up this shit. That's okay. Because anything I said, I, I don't be lying. Okay, I did lie to my man. Okay. But that's the only person I got to lie to. So I ain't got to remember my lies or shit like that because I'm not lying to you. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Share it, like it, leave your comments below. But um, this was actually a good episode. It really was. So continue to watch Married in Medicine. Love you guys. Bye.